Google's AI overviews have drastically shifted both users' behavior as well as strategies we need as search marketers in order to get in front of those users. We need to make sure that our site is being linked as well as mentioned within these overviews if we want to grow our visibility and also hopefully attract those people to our site to take a specific action or a conversion. In order to do this, we need to do some monitoring. We need to see if we're actually showing up for these types of queries and questions that are pooling AI overviews. While a number of SEO tools are starting to add AI overview tracking and specifically AI tracking to their tool sets, I wanna look at SE ranking and keywords.com because I think what they're doing is pretty unique and it allows us to take some specific actions in order to grow our visibility in these areas. Before we get into using these tools and showing how we can apply their insights into optimizing our sites for AIO, let's talk a little bit about each of these tools and what makes them different. First, we're gonna talk about SE Ranking. Now, SE Ranking's tool does a deep analysis over raw data, but they don't just leave you with these JSON exports or raw data or a bunch of numbers that might not make sense. They consolidate all of that information into a very cool visual dashboard that anybody on your team can use and make sense of and get insights from. What's also cool about their tool is it works with your already integrated SEO workflow. So if you're using SE Ranking and you're using the projects, you don't have to set anything else up from scratch. You can already use what you have there and build on it. SE Ranking was also early to the scene when it came to tracking AI search, and they've been doing it since about January of 2024. So even before it was really mainstream or cool to start tracking these AI overviews, which gives them a head start when it comes to really understanding the metrics, understanding how Google is, is using this type of technology, and it allows us as marketers, SEOs, uh, business owners to, to really be able to trust that data because it's not something they're just jumping on board with, but it's something they've been doing for quite a while. The other tool we're going to look at along with SE ranking is keywords.com and their AI overview tracker. So what makes them different? Well, they ensure that their data is 100% verifiable. Uh, they use third-party verification and they go down to the city as well as the zip code level. Now, this is important because AI overviews can be localized and that information is sliced by the user data as well. They also give you more of a SERP context. So they show the AI overviews alongside the other features so you can see the whole landscape. They also allow you to use groups and tags to categorize your keywords by topic and analyze the data around those topics, which is really important too. We talk about topical authority. You may be ranking for one term, but are you clearly covering it all? How are each of the passages on your page optimized so that you not only rank within the blue links if it's still relevant for the terms that you're searching for, but as well as those sections that need to be pulled in to AI overviews? Uh, this is uh, some really cool features. It's a tool that I'm a little bit new to, but I'm excited to explore it with you today. All right, let's dig into actually using these tools and the data we get from them and maybe some of the things that we can do to optimize our sites better. All right, so to get started with SE ranking, let's say you want to start doing some tracking with AI overviews. You're gonna select your project. And once you're in your project over here, so I'll just go ahead and select my project. You can start here in the ranking section. And you wanna make sure that all the keywords that you're tracking, whether it's AI overview or just your, your regular keyword groups that they are going to be in here. Once they're in this section over here, one thing I like to look at to see if I want to start tracking these for AI overviews is to see is an AI overview even present. So as you can see, they've got this cool little widget here that lets me know, yes, it's present. So these are types of terms that I want to actually track in the AI overview section. So once you have this, you can go over to your left side again and click the AI overview tracker. Now I've already set this up, but it's really easy to do. You just click tracking setup, you select the search engine that you're going to use, and then you just pick the keywords that you wanna track out of the list that you have in your rank tracker. All right, so now that this is set up, you can see that 92% of the terms that I've added, this is up 30% uh, of the terms, have an AI overview in the results. Now here's the mentions and links. 
with my with my brand, uh, and here's us in the top three. And then this also shows how many of the organic links are also being mentioned in data overlaps. So right now, only about 25% of the organic links are showing up in AI overviews as well. So you can see here, we did have uh, a link here in, the, in, in one of them, and then it dropped out for a couple here. So these are the terms that I'm tracking, and it's gonna give me a tracking history here. And I can see, all right, I was showing up here, and then fell out of that specific um, search result. It also gives me uh, an overview lap and like a history of that. So you can see there's quite a bit of fluctuation still with these AI overviews. What's neat is I can view the SERP right here, which is a, a great thing to look at. And this takes me to one of their other AI tools, shows me who's ranking here, what type of content's ranking here, and I can see how it changed over time. So right here for uh, technical SEO, you had SEMrush, and then you had YouTube, YouTube, um, so I might want to focus on a YouTube strategy. Uh, I might want to create a video here because YouTube is showing up quite a bit here in this AI overview. I also might want to study some of the content in these other sites and these other pages and use maybe the on-page checker, the content checker, one of the other tools there that I can um, leverage in order to get visibility in here as well. So keep testing, keep trying some new things. But there's more things I can do here. So this is the SERP here. If I do these three dots here, I can look at the competitors, which also gives me some insights into who's ranking while they're ranking. I can look at a cached copy and to see what does this actually look like as far as the AI overviews, what is being pulled out, who's ranking, showing all the different data, Here's the content that's being covered for digital advertising. Am I talking about these things on my page? Do I have deeper topical authority? Again, YouTube showing up again. I don't know if you notice a theme there. Um, I can also pull this down and look at the live results right now. I can copy the I can copy the row and use it and send it to a teammate and do a lot of other things. But I'm already getting some ideas of what's ranking and who's ranking. And I can even begin to think about why they might be ranking. So as you can see, I've got a lot of work to do uh, in these new areas, but it's also cool because I can start to build a plan now. Now that I have visibility, I know these exist. I know that I'm not in them yet. So what are the things that I need to do? What are the changes I need to make to make sure that I'm showing up in this as well? So one thing also important to know about this tool is it's, it's only tracking what you put in it. So it's just going to show you where you're ranking for the terms that you're specifically tracking. Let's say you're not even sure what terms to start looking for. Well, SE ranking has you covered there as well. If I go to the research tab, I can go over to AIO research. And what this will actually do is help me understand, is my brand even showing up for any of these terms? So I can go ahead and put my domain in here. It's already here and I can see where, where, where are we getting traffic from? As you can see, I am actually optimized for certain terms. I'm getting about 21 mentions. I've got 150 links and I'm getting traffic. And I know I'm getting traffic from AI overviews because I'm looking at that within my, my search reports. I mean, you can use this tool as well just to get some ideas of some terms you might want to track and to see if you're being mentioned for things that make sense for your brand. Just because you're ranking for something or you're being linked for something doesn't necessarily mean you want to track it. Like for this one, this is cool. I'm not really concerned with remote workforce. Now, SEO competitor analysis, this is a term that I want to track. External links, mediums and marketing, LSI SEO, all of these things are actually pretty important to what I'm doing. So these are things I can add into my rank tracker as well as my AI overview tracker to make sure that I'm tracking the right things. Uh, so using these tools in tandem, this one's really good for research if you're not sure what to track, and then you can pull it over and start tracking it in your AI overview tracker. Make sure you have your brand name correct, make sure you got the right URL, and make sure you're tracking the right terms. And like we showed before, use those tools inside the tracker to understand what the competition's doing and leverage those insights to make better decisions. Now, keyword.com is also really cool. I just set this up, so this is super new to me. Um, but it's very cool the things that they're doing as well. So my dashboard is just started. I just dumped those same keywords in because I want to do apples to apples. Uh, I've got one here in the top 10, three in the top 20, four in the top 30, 
eight in the top 100, right? And I can look at each of these different keywords when I go into my project themselves. Now, similarly to what we saw over in SE ranking, I can see search intent, but I can also see the cert features. Their AI overview is this little robot thing here. So there's an AI overview here, 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 here. Very similar data to what we're seeing and SE ranking. So that's really cool. They're both very, very much aligned. And now we can look at an overview report. This is just where we're sitting right now. This will grow over time, which will be cool. I'll do a ton more videos on this tool as well. Um, here are the top pages, how many keywords that the pages are ranking for and some keyword uh, intelligence if I wanna go and look for alternative or related terms. But what we're really concerned about in this video is not just keyword ranking, but AI visibility. So their AI visibility tool expands even further into some other areas as well. So I can set this up to look at different engines. So right now uh, we've got AI overviews, we can look at GPT-4, we can look at perplexity sonar, uh, we can look at Claude, and we can break it down, like I said before, I can build some topics. So I can say, how well am I doing my SEO topic? Or how well are we doing in our digital advertising topics? And begin to see uh, maybe how we're doing within the topical space, which, which makes a lot of sense in the world of AI and LLM extraction and all of that fun stuff because you wanna be a topical authority. You wanna be able to create content that hits all the different angles so that these LLMs, that these search engines understand that you are an authority in the space that you say you're an authority in. All right, so these are search terms. Right now I haven't put my topics in, but I will be doing that, which will be really cool. Um, and, and breaking them down so we can see it from a higher level. But let's just look at their, their analysis. Um, right now my brand is not showing up. Just like we saw on the other tool, right? This is uh, something that we wanna do and we wanna start. And for a lot of us, this is what we're gonna see when we get started. We're gonna say, man, I don't really know what to track. I may not be seeing the keywords the way I want to see them yet. And we can go and use these tools just to get ourselves a baseline, right? So let's look at this local search engine marketing. And let's look at, so let's take a look at a term like, like local search engine marketing. And we can go and we can review the results. Um, right now, I've got zero visibility. Don't need to panic. What can we do about it? How do we take this and how do we learn from what we're seeing, right? All right, so my brand, Google's got a lot of visibility. Yelp, Squarespace, Moz, Backlinko. Those are brands that now I can go and do research on and to see how can I improve. This is the visibility score. This is, these are the mentions from those brands. This is the average rank of those brands, the detection rate. These are the citations that I can go now and use these citations and references for my own research to improve my content. Where am I getting? If you wanted to learn how to do this from a very deep level, you can do it uh, with vector analysis, vector content analysis. And I think there's a training in uh, the SE ranking um, training hub that you can learn a little bit more on how to get started with that. But if you don't want to go like that nerdy, use this content, use these citations and allow yourself to understand how these sites are, are, are winning. What are some of the things that they're doing, right? Um, here we go. Search results with ranks. This is the result. What is it? This is a really good brief of what's happening right there in that AI overview. I can look at the brands mentioned. I can look at all the citations. There's tons of data that we can mine out of this and then put back into our strategy to optimize our pages to see if we can grow our visibility. So what I'm gonna do, this is kind of phase one of this video. I'm gonna wait a little bit, let this collect a little bit more data, and then we're going to actually build some optimizations and we're gonna track how well these visibility metrics grow as we begin to implement these changes. And I'll share exactly what we're doing. And we'll do this together through a series of videos. We can use different tool sets and allow them to help us build strategies that are going to be much more effective. I can use the competitive research. I can use the insights that I'm getting from a visual standpoint from SE ranking and the, the breakdown over time to pull these different sources into my research part of the strategy in order to build something that's going to work. I can use uh, keywords.com to, to go deeper in certain analysis and look at visibility scores and sediment scores. These are really helpful when we're writing new content, looking at the changes in citations, looking at brand performance over time and combining this information in order to take actionable 
steps. So stay along with us as we begin to apply some of the learnings that we're doing while using these different AI overview tools to our SEO workflows in order to see improvement. I hope you learned something new today. I hope this was actually helpful. Like I said, this is one video out of a number to come where we're gonna walk through this journey together using both of these tools in order to improve our AI visibility. If you've got any questions about AI visibility tracking, if you've got any questions about even how these things like possibly work or even how Google is pulling information, please comment below. We'd love to continue that conversation with you. And until next time, happy marketing.